There have been a number of studies in the past examining physical examination as a trigger of acute myocardial infarction, and the evidence has suggested that physical and sexual activity might indeed be triggers of acute cardiac events. Now in JAMA, researchers report on defining this issue a bit more clearly. They extracted information from 10 studies on episodic physical or sexual activity and MI or other cardiac events, and then calculated relative risks using random effects meta-analysis and absolute event rates based on U.S. data for the incidence of myocardial infarction and sudden cardiac death. What did their analysis show? Well, they found that episodic physical and sexual activity were indeed associated with an increase in the risk of MI to a relative risk of 3.4. Episodic physical activity was even more associated with sudden death at a relative risk of close to five. The good news is that the risk is extremely low. The absolute risk associated with one hour of physical or sexual activity per week was estimated as two to three per 10,000 person years for MI and one per 10,000 person years for sudden death. So what should we do to diminish even this small risk? Well, the researchers also found that habitual activity levels significantly affected this association. For every additional time per week, an individual was habitually exposed to physical activity, the relative risk for MI decreased by about 45%, and the relative risk for sudden death decreased by 30%. What to think about all this? Clearly, the risks of MI or sudden death associated with episodic sexual or physical activity are low, but real. But in contrast, repetitive, habitual activity seems protective. You can form your own conclusions from that information. I'm Peter Block, and this is a Cardiosource Heart Minute.